Kia ora whanau. How's it going? Here are my tubula of kumara that I stored over winter. And underneath, I set aside some that I'm going to plant out. Some bigger ones uh, to plant out of my papapa. So I'll be taking these, stored them in a box with cardboard and newspaper. And then what I'll do is I'll plant these um, here. So pretty much, got, got one there, put another one there. Another lot in. So this is real hands on. You actually see me doing it live. And so what I'm just paying them out. Just taking my big ones. Big cumin that I got in here. more and put them in there but that's the idea so the rocks will heat up the soil and we'll leave a little bit so they can germinate through and eventually what will happen is on these these shoots will come off and it's the shoots that I'm using to plant kumara for this next season so that's it that's my tapapa a Maori indigenous approach to raising kumara shoots uh, and the beard so these were left over from last year so these are our own kumara that we've grown and we are now replanting them for the next season okay so october we will have these ready so between now and October, we're looking for this. We're looking for what we call here in Aotearoa, New Zealand, tupu. And effectively, we'll get the roots growing on it and we'll plant it so it looks like, looks like that in the ground. In the ground like that. So the roots be underneath and the leaf top at the top. And yeah, that way, east-west. So this was east, that's west, planting that out. Alright, phase fun. Growing kumara shoots. That's what we're doing here. That's what that's for. Hence the tapapa. And it can be anything. I'm using an old older method, like local rocks and volcanic rocks, but you can also use, as we had over here, a plastic container, which was this was last year's lot. Um, I didn't put holes in it, but you probably need to, and that's another way of doing it. Plastic containers, bee boxes, or as we've done here, utilising rocks. Okay, next part will be taking the tupu once they grow through and getting roots off them, off the stalks. That's the next one. Alrighty, back on up.